2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The dome of the California Capitol Building lit up dramatically here at our broadcast location in Sacramento. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Welcome, everyone, to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. DA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. The Kings last season failed to snap their league-long playoff drought. Coach Luke Walton said it's about building a culture, getting on the same page, and getting better. I truly feel right now we're a much better team. So as a coach, I'm happy with where we're at and where we're headed. Kevin, back to you. I bet they are. Thank you, DA. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Green and Davis in at the forward position. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with LeBron James, and it's Howard in at the five. And for the Kings, Fox and Bogdanovich pair up at the one and the two. Harrison Barnes is out there at Bialyts, and it's Holmes in at the five, home in the paint. And it's the Kings to start out. Here's Bogdanovich, LeBron with the block. Love watching James dominate on the defense. Impressive rejection artist. And here's Los Angeles. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, GA, he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Free throw good, LeBron. And LeBron James, still the face of the league as he goes into his mid-30s. The impact he's had on this sport is really immeasurable. Come on, G.A. I mean, he's one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. I mean, it's scary to think when LeBron can still turn it on and take over when he needs to. And you know what? Playoff LeBron is a very real thing. For all those people waiting for LeBron to start showing his age, you might not want to start holding your breath. This man's got a lot of time left. And they can breathe a little easier on their fourth shot and finally the target. Here's James. Sacramento making their last shot on the wing, Davis. Let's the free fly. Tries again, and Howard finishes it off. And you need an army to keep Howard away from the basket. He's so superb at snatching up offensive rebounds. The Kings have gone just one of four to get this game started. Here's Fox, and he uses the glass on the way. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's LeBron, and it's Howard finishing it off. Now this is the chemistry Howard has with his guys. Fantastic at realizing when to go for alley -oops. The Kings have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. It's stolen by Davis off his leg, and it's being called a kickball. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Loads it up for Davis, and Davis throws it down. Love the timing Davis has. He, he has a sense for when to rise up and slam down the alley. Now, here's Bogdanovich. A pass to Fox. By the Lakers. Caldwell Pope on the wing, covered by Barnes. And it goes 
out of bounds. That one off home. First quarter of action, two minutes in. Passes it to LeBron. Here's Davis, just five to shoot. Caldwell Pope finds Green. Off target from three point range. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. He leads it with the bucket. This is why Fox's teammates love him. I mean, when they're open, he makes sure to get it to him. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Davis with the bucket. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. The Kings trail by four. Timeout is called, first of the game for Sacramento. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender, guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. The Kings making a switch here. Bagley's checked in. Fox against Caldwell Pope. And there's the pass to Barnes. And it's off from three-point range. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. That'd be incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up. Playing vertical. Hit spots, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. Now James. Harrison Barnes missing on the three. They kick it out to Green. And a miss there on the triple. The Kings have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Fox passes to Bogdanovich. 129 left to play in the first. Back to Fox. Four on the clock. Fires the three. He can't get that one to fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. James with it. Guarded now by Barnes. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. As a defender, is so tough to body up Davis. He'll find a way to get to the bucket and the foul. I mean, that's what AD does. And he's got his first chance at the line here. 84%. That, that's what he was able to convert on a season ago from the line. On a heel, he's checked in for Barnes. Davis's reputation really does precede him. Every time he steps on the court, the other team starts to look nervous. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. Sacramento shooting their first free throw tonight. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. A versatile player, the elites are mainly excels and spacing the floor. He's a big man with range. He'll do whatever you ask him. Bagley inside the line. It's hauled in by LeBron. He's not going to miss that shot twice in a row. Trust me. And they double up James. Caldwell Pope passes to James. He's looking for Caldwell Pope and finds him. And he overshot that one, missing. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. You're exactly right. That's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Just can't find the touch this quarter. He's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. And James gets it to go. And James is used to scoring through contact. Doesn't matter what the D throws at him. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Fox kicks to heel. Fox with it. Back 
to Heald. Six to shoot. That's the Bialyts. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on LeBron James. Crafty player. I like whenever Bialyta tries to score and draws the D's attention. For Sacramento, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. That free throw good from Bialyta. And he makes both free throws. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Rondo looking around. Here's Davis. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Los Angeles with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. Right back after this break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Lakers here so far, guys. You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. Greg, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. The, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And it, if you still look at the the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court right now for the Kings. Back to the point with heel to his side. They're the backcourt. Bagley and Giles, both former Blue Devils, are the four and the five. And it's Bogdanovich in at the small forward position. Now here's Rondo. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Davis. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Davis has got ten points in the game. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. From deep three-point range, the Lakers with the rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Are trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. We see a lot of this now. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And here is Fox following Kyle Kuzma's three. Heel, and he converts the layup. Yeah, he's evolving into a more well-rounded score. He'll really showing his toughness right there, finishing off these types of shots. And De'Aaron Fox, a natural right-hander, but he plays lefty. So he's similar to Mike Conley. Guys like that. Uh, more amphibious. I'm just joking. More ambidextrous. They, they can use either hand at a high level. Now here's healed. Fires from deep. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Fox's double. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Five to shoot. Heald from outside. Hits it from three-point range. Heald's got it back down to single digits for the King. Heald is ready to shoot as soon as he gets the pass. The D can't afford to play off of. Rondo finds Davis. Rondo against Fox. Rondo passes to Davis. Outside, Bagley. Here's Childs. Excellent D that time there from McGee. 
Los Angeles leading by eight. Pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Caldwell Pope's got his first points of the game. Fox against Caldwell Pope. Bogdanovich inside. Misses from short range. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Fox against Caldwell Pope. McGee with the block. When we mentioned McGee's outstanding lift, well, there, you saw what he did. He used that to swat the shot. Here's Rondo. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Davis kicks to McGee. Shoots. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And the Lakers lead by 15. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Fox deciding where to go with it. They need this. Rebounded by the Lakers. His offense has been non-existent tonight. It's really hurt. Fox against Rondo. Back to Kuzma. Over Bogdanovich. Bagley with the rebound. And so it's Bagley with it. He brings it up for Sacramento. Down by 15. And the shot goes in. Attacking in transition. The most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Kuzma, right side, and stolen by Bogdanovich. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. It was a big-time first quarter from Anthony Davis. He had 10 points, four rebounds. Well, with all he's accomplished, we can start to paint a picture amongst the all-time greats. Jack, where do you have LeBron ranked on your all-time list? He has to be right near the top. LeBron's a top 10 player, maybe even top, maybe even top five. Well, well arguably, he's the best small forward. Just Dye Bird and Dr. J are the only comrades that you have to go against. So uh, LeBron, best small forward ever, and I'll give it to the first. That's great water cooler talk. Does anybody even go to the water cooler anymore? Is there a water cooler? No, because it's water bottle. They just, it's it's great cool. water bottle talk. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. the scoreboard the second half begins with very different goals for these teams one side trying to mount a comeback one side trying to protect their lead you know Davis has been exceptional here guys man he's been running wild on them through that first half absolute dynamite on offense and, and as they can't slow him down you know what you do you keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them this is the right game plan with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. So for the Lakers right now, Green and Davis in at the forward positions. LeBron James is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Howard in at the five spot. When you give James a lane to the basket, he's gonna dunk it hard. Amazing watching him just glide through the air. The Kings trail by 15. Bogdanovich passes to Fox. But teardrop falls 
in. Fox has got six. Well, Fox is mastering the timing required to succeed in the pick and roll. Trust me, it's not easy. And getting to the free throw line more and more. G.A. awfully tough to stay in front of De'Aaron Fox. I mean, he's just got to knock him down, though. I mean, a free throw percentage, I think he can and will improve upon. That shot wide open. LeBron's got five points now this quarter. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And there's the call on James. And that'll be his third foul so far. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big time D. Outside Fox. position to grab the rebound. Gets underneath, boxes out, and pulls it down. James looking it over. There's the feed to Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got assist number five here tonight. They're on target for the start of the half. I mean, they're moving well. They're getting some good shots. That makes them three for four from the field since halftime. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Outside Fox. He gets it in there. He's got eight. Well, to deal with the bigger defenders in the NBA, Fox had to learn the floater. I mean, as you can see, he learned it pretty well. There's the pass to Caldwell Pope. LeBron up top. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Pass to Fox. A three from Barnes. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope's got four rebounds now tonight. LeBron drives in, and he banks in the layup. LeBron's got ten. A lot of great talkers over the years, trash talkers on the floor in this league. Do you think they do it more to get themselves going, Greg, or do they do it with the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin? I mean, that's a great question, and believe it or not, you see both. I've seen guys who do it to get under your skin, and I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefit. That's how they derive their confidence, and so uh, it's about you figuring out what works for you. I've seen some guys, they don't say smack. They don't, they don't say a word during the course of the game, but they will cut your heart out, so it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you that right no, we don't do that. <laughs> and Sacramento has possession after the basket by the Lakers. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. LeBron passes to Howard. Over in the corner, Barnes misses the three. Lakers leading by 18 with the steal and now the fast break Fox with the ball and Davis sends it back you can't take that shot in front of Davis his reach his height his time is never gonna happen. for Sacramento they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter looking to lock in that rhythm and yes it's good 54 seconds left to play here in the third James, he's got 12. Takes the three. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. Fox has got four rebounds in this game. Basket number five goes in. He's now five of 12 from the floor. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. James 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. LeBron is so aggressive, virtually unguardable. Tough to contain when he's going up to shoot. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Makes the first. Some changes for Sacramento. Bagley, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Buddy Heald comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Joseph in for De'Aaron Fox. And then for the Lakers, Morris is checked in for Howard. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Green. And it's Alex Caruso in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And both free throws good for LeBron. Barnes with the ball for the King. It's a 16-point game. LeBron with the block. Here's Caruso, covered by Barnes. Morris kicks to Caruso. Gotta appreciate the hustle from Bagley. I mean, it's a big boost when he works hard on the defense. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Lakers lead by 16. Live from Golden One Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. No, it's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Heald and Barnes are the two and the three. Bagley is out there with Nemanja Bielica, and it's Joseph in at the one. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Los Angeles leading by 14. In the corner, it's Morris. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, yeah even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Los Angeles making a switch here. Rondo's checked in. Now, here's Joseph. Barnes, right side over Morris. That one, no good. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. They led by as many as 18 points. LeBron against Barnes. The oh, that was super nice. And James simply one of the best dunkers in NBA history, I have to say. Highly creative in how he throws it down. The Kings trail by 16. Quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Joseph finds Barnes over James. Again, the miss by the Kings. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. From outside the arc, rebound by Bialica. Bialica's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Nobody near Barnes. With another miss. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Joseph against LeBron. Greg is a young player. One of your mentors was Patrick Ewing. How valuable was that to have that kind of guy uh, tutoring you, mentoring you as you were just getting in the NBA? I tell you, he was the consummate professional and, and really an incredible leader by example. This guy spent infinite amount of hours in the gym in the offseason honing his craft, first on the floor, last to leave it throughout his professional career. And that's something he had in common with all the truly greats who ever played the game.
and both free throws good for LeBron. The Kings trail by 18. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Barnes left side. Shoots the three. And it's Belyuta with the foul. That's his first foul. Los Angeles leading by 18. Rondo passes to Kuzma. A three. Joseph with the rebound. The Kings have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. A three from Barnes. Hangs home the trifecta. Barnes has got five points now in the quarter. I've always respected Barnes' ability to hit from downtown. So important for wing players in today's NBA. LeBron against Barnes. Oh! oh that is just no, nasty. No, the athleticism no, on that man. No. No. And that's rocking the rim. Give him two points and tack on some for style. Oh, he deserves them. He deserves all the points he can get there. Sensational. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Now here's Barnes on the wing heel. The Lakers with the rebound. Caldwell Pope's got his fifth rebound in this one. LeBron passes to Green. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Healed against LeBron. Four on the shot clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. The three from Davis. But they get it back. Couldn't get it to drop. He's now made five of eight shots. And Davis sends it back. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Lakers. What do you think was the deciding factor in this one? I think you have to look at their field goal percentage. They just shot the ball much better than the opponent, and they were getting great looks all game long. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for LeBron. He hung a big number on the scoreboard, and it wasn't just because he was hot. He did it with movement and tenacity. That was a big one. You could hear it. And sometimes the silence of a crowd can speak volumes. The wide open look here for Fox. Again, the miss by the Kings. He gets the playground jumper and can't make good on it. So you don't get many chances easier than that. Left side, Davis. And they double up Davis. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Buries the long-range jumper. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. And here is Barnes following the three-pointer from Contavious Caldwell Pope over James. Barnes can't get it to go. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 13-3 run. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Davis. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Howard. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, there's no doubt as to who was the better team. I mean, they, they proved it with this win. Fox against Caldwell Pope. Three-pointer, heel. Good on the three-point shot. Yeah, this is Hill's specialty. I mean, he's out there to shoot and shoot often from downtown. 
So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise for the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Anthony, tell us the focus for the team coming into the game tonight. Well, you know, before we started the game, you know, Coach came in and told us that we knew what we had to do. You know, we were trying to stop a lot of their actions. And, you know, our biggest focus for the game was guarding the ball. Um, that's what we did coming out of that timeout and never looked back. And it led to a win. Thank you for your time, Anthony. Back to you, Kevin.